I think we can skip the niceties. Yeah, unnecessary. Yet I sense your readiness to fight on. What guarantee do I have that Philip is not in control anymore? Philippa is no longer so beautiful and important to me. In fact, I believe I would break her neck if I saw her. Though it's possible I remain spellbound and that feeling is part of it. Philippa's not immune to self-loathing. She's aging and that bothers her, I think. Frankly, I don't know what's true. That's good enough for me. We were fighting to the death just minutes ago. I understand. I believe I owe you part of my treasure. Family tradition and all. No need. Can you make it back to Vergen? I think so. I've always healed quickly in the past. Philippa took advantage of the chaos and escaped. Think she could reveal your secret? It's nothing I can control. I don't intend to pursue her. We may or may not meet again, but I shall leave that to fate. She's not one to give up easily. I think she'll come after you again, try to take control, as soon as she's done licking her wounds. I shall be cautious next time. And I know much more about Eilhart than she would ever wish. Mm -hmm. Keep that knowledge until you need it. Philippa is a tragic figure. That's all I can say. More than she would wish. Interesting. I obeyed Philippa, but I was not blind. We were close. And Eilhart could not keep all her secrets concealed. I know her weakness, something that can destroy her in an instant. Valuable and dangerous knowledge. Precisely why I'll keep it to myself. Sheila and Philippa have lost. The Lodge has been defeated. That's good, though temporary. I fear we shall hear of them again. Mm -hmm. You know Emir's armies have crossed the Yoruga? I expected as much, as did Philippa. We defeated the Adernian lords and Henselt. With a bit of luck, we'll defeat the Emperor as well. Can you tell me what'll happen to Jorvith now? Let's be honest. He's a terrorist. I'll not lie about him nor whitewash his deeds. He must earn respect on his own and perhaps, a few generations on, humans will forget. Did you intend just to use him? Geralt, Jorvith has killed more humans than you've eaten chickens. He's not one to be used. It's not that simple. He came to believe in me and knew from the start what we were fighting for. He made a choice. Sure you don't know what I'm talking about? Those baby doe eyes, that intense misty gaze, the pouting? We shared a cause, fought side by side. Yorvith did and would do anything for you. Question is, what are you prepared to do for him? There will always be a place for the Scoyatel in the free Pontar Valley. As to Jorvith himself, I've heard many say crude things about us. Thing is, as long as I can remember, I've found dwarves fascinating. Must be a dragon thing. And though preferable to a human, an elf would be a compromise. You know, you're not the first dragon I've talked to. Hmm. You met my father, Villain Tretemer, known also as Bork Three Jackdaws. I thought he couldn't have children. He thought so as well. Hmm. Polymorphing. Did you get that from him? Just a hint of it. I can only assume one human form. He could transform into anyone he liked. You also don't have his quickness and reflexes. And I don't think I saw a single golden scale on you. Nor do I have his moustache or paunch. Sorry to disappoint you. Professional curiosity. Forgive me. Where is Bork these days? Who can know that? He taught me what he thought I should know and flew off yonder. It's the dragon's way. And he gave me my name. Sasanthesis, if I heard right. I prefer being Saskia. Time I was on my way. You shall always be a welcome guest in Bergen. I underline guest. Don't worry, I'm only ever a visitor. I know. Sometimes I wish I could see the future, like my father. And sometimes it's better to be surprised. Farewell, Witcher.